Hey guys, this is Garish. Welcome back to another episode of Survival We're Done. We are back here in Minecraft Plus, and today we are going to head out in a direction, going to look for the end uh, stronghold. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> got stuck on that name a bit. Okay, so off cam, I got a couple of heads. Nice. Actually, I got more because I got that. Yay, we got nether stars. So, um, let's quickly use one and I'll show you how that works. Okay, I just need to get a few items. Actually, no, let's not get the items without you guys. Because I want to show you guys how this works. Um, so, we're getting a ton of iron from our iron farm. Iron golem form. So, with the nether star, you place in the middle, do that, some glass around it with a obsidian base, and you get a beacon. So this is next progression, not progression, next best thing for mining and running and healing and everything. Now we need to get a place to build this. Okay, I think we'll build it in a base somewhere, but let me show you right here how it works. Okay, so if you place this, nothing happens. Okay, if you right click on it, you can choose what is your primary power and then you get a secondary power. Okay, so it shows here just how it works. So the gold spot there or dot there is a beacon itself. So you can either use any one of these um resources so you can either use a netherite resource um ingot i think it is a emerald diamond gold or iron so i'm going to use iron okay so then underneath the, the beacon you can see two spots there and then for, um, in the next level you can get see two levels and then three and then four so this is an indication what you can do so for uh, on the first level, you can only get speed and haste. On the second level, you can get resistance and jump boost. Third level, you get strength. And in the fourth one, you get regeneration. But you need to have a big beacon for that. Okay, so let's make a basic beacon. Oh, wow, they added a sound to that. Okay, so if you just make a basic beacon. Put in that. Now you can choose that one or yeah, so you can't choose that one you see okay but if we go into our inventory there's no boost applied or anything okay so now we have to activate it so you give you an iron let's say there's speed and say done oh wow they add a nice um, sound so as you can see, we have now speed and always refreshes around 10. So if we run now, we have some speed. And I think the range is 50 blocks or 50 blocks on the max level to here it drops. And there we go. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 10. And then we can increase the size. I like the sound they added. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Okay, so it needs to be like a pyramid. So you'll get the just fit in a few seconds. Oops. Now we can put that. And now we can go to jump boost. And we can activate it. One in okay now we have jump boost now we can jump fences cool right yes and it's if i'm not mistaken it will now double the distance maybe eight twelve yes so we're further than we were earlier So every level you add to the beacon, it goes um, goes further and further, further. And then what you do, you choose this one and you choose regeneration. 
and you can mine at speeds unknown to humans. Anyway, so that's a beacon, and you can see this beacon forever and ever. Not really, <laughs> until the, um, the chunks gets unloaded. Okay, so um, let's do the other thing today, or now. Okay, that doesn't have a space in any case. Um, so I want to set that up for mining. When we mine, that it's quicker to mine, etc. Um, so, as I said, we are going to head and go and find the end um, dungeon. Oh well. Uh, so for that, we need a bunch, and I mean a bunch of inner balls. Not really that much of a bunch, but yeah, a couple will help. So bring a few of these because this makes Eye of Enders. So let me show you. We'll make two. This thing is needed for the portal. Okay, so I'm not going to make... Ah, let's make. Because we're in any case going to need a couple. Okay, also, something I have not shown in this series because I... If anybody knows anything about Minecraft, they would know Ender Pulse is an awesome awesome tool to have so but for that we need to have a lot more ender balls because this costs them a lot so if you hold this and you right oh, left click nothing happens okay but if you right click and you throw a ball and if you drops whoop, we transport or teleport to this location so this is awesome so um we are going to make four more of these one two three four i have enders okay so this as i said is needed for the portal and also to get your roots sorry i didn't mention that so we are going to go to quite a high spot and we're going to throw it directly into the air and we need to be careful because this eye once it's in the air will go into a certain direction pointing us towards a location where the, uh, the um stronghold might be okay but before i do that let me wait till morning so that we can head out and i think i'll grab a bed and a <clears throat> excuse me a boat in case so maybe we can nah, maybe we can go on top of that i knew so i'll bring it back in a sec once it's morning okay so it's the next morning let's climb up on the tower i decided that's the way we're going one of the tower of a spawner. <clears throat> so I grabbed another stack of ender balls. Oof, I have a jump boost. That's not nice now. Not if you're jumping up on this um, area. Okay, so are we above clouds? No, we are not. Okay, because that's going to make it difficult to see. So let's go above clouds. Okay, let's hope we see what we need to see. Okay, so we're going to throw an... Uh, actually, no, we can't go up here, down here. Well, up here, sorry. Because the pearl is going to fly in a direction and we can pick it up most of the time. But there's a chance that it will break and then we'll lose it forever. So let's just use a ender pull. Um, yeah, let's go where we were. Why not? So this does give you a bit of fall damage. But if you have a, a feather falling, you actually should be good. Okay, where did we stand earlier? Right here. Because I don't want to lose the eye of ender. Yeah, it's a bit bit of uh, worth something so let's throw it there you go okay so it's in this direction okay so you just head in a straight direction from what we saw okay so in a straight direction um let's go to about here and then we throw another ball okay so i'll bring you back once we're over here Okay, we are over here just looking for a spot to throw the Eye of Ender. <clears throat> Maybe right here we'll be able to see which direction. Either this way, that, this way, that way. 
Where is that creeper? I don't want to run into him accidentally. <laughs> okay, I think right here. Okay, so still more in this direction. Okay, so let's see. Um, maybe over here. So, okay, I'll bring you back once we're next to the village. Shouldn't take long because I'm just take the boat to there. Okay, so we came from this direction. So either it's between us and there or it's still onward. Okay, let's see how far onward we can go. Let's stop this water source and then we can actually... Stand right here and drop it because there's a nice big area actually. Right about here. Okay, luckily we haven't <coughs> excuse me. Luckily we haven't lost a eye of injury. There's a bridge over there. Oh still. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to travel still a bit. Yeah, that's pretty much still a straight line. So we are headed in the right direction. So let's go there. Safe. Okay. How far is that? 500 meters. Yes, I think that's fine. Okay, so let me bring you back once we're there. Okay, not quite there yet, but I had to stop and sleep. So I was thinking, let's... This is a nice spot, so let's see. We're 300 meters, so it's only been 150 meters, but still. Yep, still. Okay, so I think I'll definitely hit. Oh, they lost that one. That sucks. Okay. We'll see you there. Okay, coming up on an actually nice spot to throw it. So this was a still a, a fogged um, area fog of war area so i think over there then we'll see true nature i know i can just throw an ender pole but currently we do not have enough to just waste willy nilly uh, there's going to be a point not too far in the future that we will be using ender pearls like we're using a pickaxe okay right here so either way it's, or it will either be more into this direction or we'll head back. There's a ravine. I should have looked down a ravine. See if I maybe see something. But anyway. Nope. Still onward. Wow. This thing is far. No. We lost another one. No. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> so this is not it. Let's continue another 500 about. I guess that's 500. Uh, 300. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so I'll see you again in 300 meters. Very interesting. We found a new biome. Puzzle. And we had this is perfect for growing mushrooms. Uh, what's this? Giant tree tiger idols. Oh, wow. And you can find mossy cobblestone here. Which is also always a nice thing. Um, this is going to be a tough one. Where are we going to throw it? Maybe over here. Looks like that's the most flat-ish area we can find. Let's see. If we jump here, here. Oh, nope, that's not a flat. Wait, maybe. Yeah, maybe why not? Okay, quickly just had a look around. We were just down there. Um, this spot seems the best, so let's see. Okay, I saw it there. Well, wait. If we're looking this way, where are we? And by all time, it's pointing towards us, so it might be close by 
So once you find it, it will point to the ground. It will go will fall on the ground. Uh, now we need a flat area. There it is. Almost thought we'll lose another one. Um, I don't know where to go. Let's go stand on here. So I think if we stand here, it will go either in that direction or that direction. Okay, so it's going in that direction. That means it might actually be just there. Okay, so we just head into this direction. Probably won't be far. It looks like it's going into the ground, so it might be here. Okay, so now what we do, we dig a nice big area so that we don't fall and that we can get light down to the bottom okay so i usually like going big bigger walls down so that we can see where we touch the um Fortress. Fortress. I keep forgetting that name today. Today. Okay, so let me head down till I see if I can hit the fortress. And I'll bring you back once we hit that. Okay, just hit it. There it is. Stone bricks. Yeah, you see how quick that one broke. There's a thingy there. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so um, now we need to... Ooh, do I have enough torches? Yes, I do. One downside, though, is we do not come up directly above the portal. So we need to go find the portal now. And that's always fun. Not really. I don't really like that. It's a bit of exploration and stuff. Uh, home is that way. I spy. <laughs> cool. So yes, definitely hit the portal. Okay, I'm going to bring up the overlay so that I know where to place torches. As I said, this is usually a f fun little um, treasure hunt. And by fun, I mean not fun. course you get lost so often it's not not even funny okay so i don't want you there so i'm using the same principle oh there it is that's the easy one easiest one ever and then we have this guys oops sorry sorry for killing you so late Okay, so nothing will spawn here. And it's chest usually. Okay, these things is quite irritating, so I'm just going to do that for a second or two or five. And see, iron pickaxe, and you can stay. Actually, what you need to do when you come in, I forget, forgot to do that. Uh, let's close off this. You need to show where your exit is. Actually, this was quite easy. I think this is the first time it was this easy. So I'm just going to make a um, in fortress shaft. In fortress shaft. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, why not? Slime. 
Okay, so I'm not going to use that. Actually, I could have graded it with off. But what I am going to do... Okay, so it's over there. So let's close this. Let's close off the area. And then over here, we'll set up our bed. Oops. Let's close this off. Actually, we need a door. I think that would be better. So if we use a door... That's interesting. <laughs> okay, well, um, it's a door nonetheless. Um, so let's make an area of, over here for us. Here, I'll show you just now what this is for. Hate these guys. So the more you hurt, the more will spawn type of thing. Okay, so if we do this, then we can Okay, let's try that again. Of course I want to do this, 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 and this. And there's another one. Okay, you already went into another one directly, right? Okay, now we are going to make a nether portal to get back here easy. Okay, and over here we put that. Oh, then now we need to sleep. Fun. Okay, so now let's light this. Here we go. Okay, so now we go back. We go see in the nether where we are. Still good on health. Our armor is down. Ah, huh, cool. Close to our thing. So let's just quickly make a portal in fortress so then we know where it is. In fortress. Okay, let's head back before things attack us. Okay, so now it's easier to get back than run. How far is it? 1,766 meters. Okay, now we need to make a plan. To get there. Okay, I want to go up one more. Here we go. Okay, the thing is, I do not want to break the spawner. Because with the spawner, actually, we can do some interesting things. Okay, I'll rather lose those blocks than lose a spawner. And that should not let them spawn, though. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we were very unlucky. Only one... Oh, there's even a mineshaft behind here. Interesting. So there is only one eye of ender. So we need 3, 6, 9, 11. So we already have... Um, three, so we need ten more. Okay, so now it 
he is interesting. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Let's place more. Kind of looks cool. <laughs> okay, do not fall through. You'll fall into lava. Okay, so once we place this last one, a portal will be created and we'll have access to the end portal. So we are not going to go there today. We're going to head back to base. And there it is. So we're going to head back to base. That's so freaky. Now oh, the background moves. We Okay. Once again, we're going to head back to base. Go drop with all our items. Prepare. And so hopefully come through three year again. So um we are not going to three year is the ender dragon. That's the final boss of Minecraft, but we are not going to fight it. What we are going to do, we are going to only go through with cobblestone, a stack or two at a time. We'll have a stack or chest here with cobblestone, we'll go through, and as soon as we go through, we are going to head into the opposite direction of the end dragon, because we do not want to do that. We want to go do something else. I uh, will fight the Ender Dragon at a later stage. But for now, let's head back to base. So we'll use our portal. So I'm keeping you in so that you can see what and where and how we're doing. So if I remember correctly, this is a way back to base. Yes, it is. That's where though that weird structure was something's trying to hit us but we are going to head back okay so i'll meet you back at base one second okay we are back at base so interesting we already have our speed boost or jump boost okay so we've discovered the in fortress 1700 meters that way so just fyi each world has a possibility of three in fortresses so it depends on where and when you are um i think it's the first time you throw an eye of ender other people i've heard say um it's with, when you spawn in a world it's randomly picked which one of the three but uh, i'm not sure can't say for certain but i think personally it's when you throw the first eye of ender and it creates which one is the one to activate i'm not sure of the other ones look i have no idea how to find them without it and one world way 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 back about what seven years ago six seven years ago no longer anyway i found the second one but it was a half one so there wasn't space for anything it was you saw that structure with the um mossy stone and so on these mossy stone bricks cracked stone bricks and so on so i found that structure but it was in a ravine when you look down i saw it accidentally saw it so that was quite interesting but it wasn't much left or much to explore it was i think the ravine ate most of the fortress so yeah and other times i did find the ravine with a working one so the one i actually was looking for was the one in the ravine so i don't think that's the deciding factor if it creates one or not i'm not sure anyway um i haven't researched it so don't hold me to that as i said it's just my own personal opinion <laughs> but anyway so let's call it an episode uh, we found the end portal which is awesome we talked about the beacon quickly so I think in the next episode, let's go to the end. Let's go see what's going on there. I will uh, prepare and we will go there for the first time in this season. Which episode are we at? Uh, I think it's like 63 or 64 maybe. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, so soon, once we defeated the Ender Dragon, we are going to upgrade our Minecraft to a newer version. I'm not sure if I want to jump versions and do the latest version or we're going to go by increment let me know down in the comments what you guys think and i will see what we'll do but for now let's call it an episode thank you for joining me guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did 
please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate that a bunch. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!